Now, Browning version, as I've told you, it has these main characters, and this play deals about with the student teacher relationship. What is it that students think about teachers? What is it that teachers think about students? Now, here two different teachers have been discussed. One is the literature teacher, other is the young science teacher, right? Now, this incident here, which has been described in this play, it happens on the last day of Mr. Crocker Harris in school. He's going to leave the school, right? And before that, he has to do, you know, like, yes, the assessment of the students, he has to give them their result. We think that the teacher is going to leave the school would become a little lenient, yes? Would be a little, what, concerned about the teachers? But Mr. Crocker Harris is not like that at all. Even on the last day, who is the student here? Taplow. He is in the class and he is, he had to do extra work because he had missed out. And as for Mr. Crocker Harris's rules and regulations, which are the school's rules and regulations, he will not give the result till he has completed all his work and he has attended all the classes. As he is waiting for the teacher to come, because he's there in the school, the teacher has not arrived, right? So another teacher comes. Who is that teacher? Frank. Frank is a young teacher. And what does he teach? Science. Now, these are two contrasting teachers we have. One is an old teacher. Other is a young teacher. Now, one teaching literature, other teaching science. So the teachers here, the young teacher, you know, like when they enter a school, they know about the senior teachers and they learn about the reputation and influence. Oh, this teacher is very strict. This teacher is very hardworking. This teacher is very dedicated, et cetera, et cetera. So they get, you know what? Inspired also, they get encouraged also. Mr. Crocker Harris was known to be a very strict teacher. Because of that, the students were also afraid. And the young teacher, the science teacher, Maybe he was a little lenient. Maybe he was a little casual. So he felt that, what is it about this teacher? He's so strict. Even then, the teacher, uh, the students like him, right? So like envy. What is envy? No, envy and jealousy, they're two different things. Envy is like you hear about someone doing well. You want to do well yourself. That is envy. Kisi ko achha karto hai, tumhe bhi lage ki haan, I should. Jealous is, aray, ye kaise kar sikta hai? It's not equality nahi hai. So jealousy is when you're not happy with somebody's success. Envy is, yes, you do feel a little jealous, but you want to better yourself also. So envy in a way is a good feeling. Jealousy is negative. Okay? So the teachers, they felt envious. Ki dekho, itna strict teacher hai, but look at him. How he is able to, what? Awaken the respect of the students. So why can't we? And now what about Mr. Crocker Harris? How can you gain the respect of him? We're going to do both versions here. Mr. Crocker Harris did not interact much with the students. He was not friendly. He was very strict. Yet students liked him. Frank, young teacher, lenient. Friendly. Okay, so two different kinds of teachers that we have. Now, what do we know about Mr. Crocker Harris? Now, what do we know about him is what the students tell him. And who is that student? Taplow. So he's there talking about his teacher. Whom is he talking to? He's talking to Frank. Okay, Frank is a young teacher, Frank is a science teacher. What are the things that he tells about Mr. Crocker Harris? That, yes, he knows that he will never give the result. Other teachers might give before the date, but he will not, right? He's very strict and he follows a very traditional method of teaching. What was that? So he taught Greek literature, right? And he thought that it's a difficult language. How are students going to learn it? By writing it, memorizing it. That is our traditional way of teaching. Yeah, you keep on doing the rote learning. That's it. 
What do you think would be a better way of teaching language? Yes? Communication is a better way. Yes? Using those words, using those sentences, that would be a better way. Yes? So now that the students here and uh, Taplo is one of them, he was not happy with the way of teaching, right? He's saying we're doing, naturally we're doing very good literature. We're reading all these plays, but he did not like the manner of teaching. It could have been better. It could have been more interactive, okay? Now, Mr. Crocker Harris, he was quite strict and he did not want to be liked by others. Do we have human beings nowadays like this? Who don't want to be liked? Do you think it is possible? We do, we want to be appreciated, yes? We want the students to like us. You want the teachers to like you. You want to have friends here. Can we live in isolation? Can we? No, we can't. But Mr. Crocker Harris was a teacher like that. He was happy with his subject, with his teaching. He would do his work perfectly and maybe not interact much with the students and the teachers. But in spite of that, Mr. Crocker Harris had students who liked him. And one of them was Taplo. And the sad thing or the funny thing was Taplo said, when Mr. Crocker Harris came to know that students liked him, he became more, what? Strict, shriveled. What is shriveled? What does shriveled mean? Dried up, right? And what do we call, you know, something very shriveled and dried up. We think it is like without any value, without any use, right? Or without any feelings. But obviously Mr. Crocker Harris did have feelings, but he did not show them. Or ye conversation it is happening between whom? Frank and Taplo. Who are they talking about? Who are they talking about? Mr. Crocker Harris. And in his absence also, they are talking so much about him. Okay, right. Now, what else is it that uh, they talk about? In fact, Taplo gets uh, so free, he starts imitating the teacher. He starts copying the teacher, right? That, uh, and in fact, Frank encourages it. Then later on, he realizes that, no, I should not be doing it. And then he says that, can you tell me how Mr. Crocker Harris says this? So when uh, Taplo speaks like that, and he says, no, 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 I don't think so. But first he encouraged it, and now he is discouraging it, right? Because, yes, it is not nice to talk about teachers with students. Is it correct? It's not. But, of course, but the thing is that we do talk about students. You talk about teachers. What matters is the way you talk about them. Are we, of course, uh, polite? Are we courteous or do we cross our limits while talking about them? This is what Frank wants to remind Taplo that no, enough. You should stay within your limits when you are talking about teachers. Because Mr. Crocker Harris is very strict, right? So what do people think about him? That what kind of a person is he? Sadist. Who is the sadist? Who is the sadist? A person who likes giving pain to others. And uh, you won't believe it, but of course, maybe you would uh, think about this, that uh, whenever a teacher gives you a lot of homework and tells you to learn for a test also, and you have projects also, you have so many things. And then you think, oh my God, these teachers, yes, they give us so much work to do. They get pleasure out of giving us extra work or making us unhappy, isn't it? But that is not the reality. The reality is that we also have our duty to do, isn't it? Right? But people who do this intentionally, they make people uncomfortable. They want to create an unpleasant situation. They want to give pain to people. They are the ones who are sadists, okay? Now, would you call Mr. Crocker Harris a sadist? Taplo is here on the last day doing extra work. But does he think of him in a negative way? No, he does not. Because Mr. Crocker Harris is doing what 
is according to rules and regulations so will we dislike a person who follows rules and regulations do we do we we don't so we feel yes happy that at least people are following rules and regulations so do you think the rules and regulations are only in schools or elsewhere also yes we have and if we feel happy that rules and regulations are followed in other places in offices in other places so should we feel happy that they are followed in schools also yes no raga yes so this is a yes this is a yes isn't it because you are yes and no they are all the same so ma'am keep guessing isn't it right so here if we want that in other offices establishment rules and regulations should be followed so we should appreciate it if rules and regulations are being followed in the school right so here yes so that is why he says that no he is not a sadist now taplo narrates one very funny incident that happened in the classroom what was it mr crocker harris what did he teach greek literature and as he was teaching one day he cracked a joke in the class right he cracked a joke the students did not laugh at all why didn't they laugh samajh bhi nahi aaya na obviously right but there was one student um, among them maybe like you very polite and he laughed he thought ki teacher has cracked a joke i should laugh yes out of respect okay but was he appreciated for it thank you understood my joke you laughed no in fact what did the teacher say that since you have understood the joke why don't you explain it to the class do you think taplo understood the joke no he laughed out of politeness so poor thing apne hi he created a problem for himself okay now all this is happening and uh, taplo is getting impatient because he wants to go out and he thinks he's finished his work and it's getting late it's a beautiful day he wants to go out and play golf but he can't leave because the teacher is not here what if he goes out the teacher comes and he marks him absent will he get his result no what will he have to do he might have to work for another day his result will be delayed right so he does not go so why this conversation is happening what happens mrs uh, miley uh, harris she comes over yes and uh, she comes here when she sees these uh, two they're talking and maybe she might have overheard that they're talking about her husband right so what does she suggest to the student she says that uh, you because the teacher uh, student is not ready to leave right because the teacher might come and again i might be absent so she says do one thing she gives him a prescription for the chemist and she says you go over there and you bring these medicines for me so in case the teacher comes what will i what will she say that i have sent him for some work right so you you will not be marked absent and your day will not be wasted right and so in fact you know his wife she saves him from the situation and the child is uh, you know like able to leave okay right so here it is is there any major incident in this play no there's no major incident it is just a conversation between a student and a teacher but what have we learned from this conversation what have we learned who has been discussed the most in this play who's the character who has been discussed mr crocker harris isn't it there is no dialogue there is nothing about him in this play but it seems as if the whole play is about mr crocker harris so we have learned he is a literature teacher he is very strict he does not like to be liked and he is so smart enough he catches when the students are acting smart right and of course he teaches other teachers also that it is important for all of us to follow all rules and 
regulation, which is a good thing, isn't it? Right? Now, yes, so here it is an extract from, uh, you know, I like this play, the Browning version, a very short extract from it. Okay, and why? Because Robert Browning, uh, Browning's version of the play, what uh, Agamemnon, which has been discussed, a Silas, the writer there. Okay, what do we learn about Taplo? Taplo is a student. Yes, why is he here? Why was he there uh, at the time of the school? Yes, he's doing his extra work, okay? And what do we learn from his conversations, from his discussion? We learn so much about the teacher, isn't it, right? So he is there talking about his teacher. What is the manner he adopts to talk about his teacher? Is he polite? Is he respectful? Is he disrespectful? Is he talking about his teacher in a humorous way? What way? He talks about it, yes. He gets a little lighthearted also, right? He does uh, get a little casual. And Frank reminds him that, see, we should not get carried away. You should not be so casual about your teacher, okay? So one thing more we have also learned is that the student-teacher relationship, yes? Now, when uh, Frank sees Taplo, he's doing extra work and all. If I meet a student like this, right? On the last day also, you know, like uh, it's time for the result and uh, maybe your pre-boards are over. You're going to get exam roll numbers. There is still some students who are coming and giving tests. Are still there with the teachers. What opinion will I make of those students? What will I think about them? What will other teachers think about them? They're very hardworking. Is it? They're putting an extra effort. Or what will I say? I'll say that only now. Isn't it? And this is what Frank thinks about Taplo. And when uh, Frank asks Taplo, what subject are you going to take? He says, I will take science. And Frank is a science teacher. What opinion has he formed about Taplo? Is he a sincere student? Is he? He thinks he's here doing extra work. That means he's not a sincere student. What does he say? We get all the slackers, right? The slow ones, the lazy ones. It seems as if they all opt for science, right? And so now you are also like that. You're here doing work on the last day and you want to offer science. Oh my God, what kind of students are we going to get? Isn't it? Right? So here it is once again, what opinion does the teacher form about the student who is there doing extra work? He might have been absent for some very genuine reason, right? Might be a sincere student, but, and he seems to be a sincere student from his conversation. Then he talks about, right? Taplo talks about his unhappiness over the way subjects are taught, right? He wants, Maybe the subjects, they should be taught in a better manner. Do you think teachers should also change with the times? The teaching methods should change? Yes, right? And uh, the way the interaction or uh, it should also change or not? There should be more of interaction or less of an interaction? Less of an interaction? More of an interaction will lead to what? Beach, beach, may okay, yes, 50 50. Okay, 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 types. So, we should talk also, we should teach also. But there are chances that we start talking, some students might talk even more, right? Okay, so yes, there has to be a limit, right? Yes, so with time, yes, teaching methods should change. We have changed or not. These last two years, I think the so, teachers have changed the most. Agree or disagree? Even students have changed. For better or worse? Better or worse? One honest answer. I, I'll agree with Kushi then, okay? Right, very well said. Very honest answer. So you know what you have done. We know what we have done, isn't it? So with the passage of time, yes, the teaching methods need to change. Literature, there has to be a variety in the way it is taught. Science is also, 
Yes, yeah, so science, of course, is always activities and practicals. Okay, this is what the chapter is about. Now, what do I expect from you? What do I expect from you about this chapter? Nothing. Nalin is saying, don't expect anything from us. I expect you to honestly read this chapter. Right. Okay, fine. So read this chapter and uh, any doubts and all, we can discuss it. Okay. Yes. Any doubts, students at home? 